in this tutorial we will create this object click here and select 3d modeling then click on unsaved view and select ACI isometric then give the UCS icon command enter choose no origin then click on 2d wireframe and select shaded with edges this object's length is 175 and width is 50 it is total is 225 we will have to take the limit more than this value we will take 250 comma 250 give the limits command enter load left corner 0 comma 0 enter upper right corner 250 comma 250 enter then give zoom all z enter a enter at first we will create this base plate of 175 by 50 and 9 thickness click on box give the first point take your cursor away then give the width of 50 tab 175 enter and thickness of 9 enter the next are these holes at a distance of 16 and 25 to take this 16 reference we will copy this edge click here and select copy edges select this edge enter give the base point give the direction make ortho on and give the distance of 16 enter 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 then create one circle of 12 diameter select circle Give the center point now here it is not showing the midpoint of the line it is only showing the end point in order to show the midpoint click here and select midpoint object snap click outside then take your cursor to the center it will show the midpoint click there give the radius of 6 enter now same circle is required on this side also we will mirror it select 3d mirror Select this circle, enter, then click on this three point. Now it will be mirror around this center plane. Give the three points of that plane. Give this midpoint. Give this midpoint as the second point and this below midpoint as the third point. Delete source object? No. Then erase this line. Give E, enter, select this line, enter. Then to create the hole, click on press pull. Then click inside this circle, then select this multiple option and select this circle also. Enter. Give the direction below and give the depth of 9. Enter. You can orbit it by pressing the shift and middle mouse button and dragging the mouse. You can view that the holes are through. Then next will be to create this portion. We will create this portion in empty space so that we can easily press pull it. Now this portion needs to be created on this surface. To change our UCS icon to this surface, click here and select face option. Then select this face, enter. Now our XY become vertical and Z become horizontal. Make grid off. Now here at first we will have to create this line. This distance is 32, this is 32. That means this length of this line will be 175 minus 64. 175 minus 64. Enter. That is triple one. Give the line command. Give the first point. Give the direction. Give the length of triple one. Enter. Enter. Then here height of circle is 28 and the diameter of this circle is 50. Take the line command. Take your cursor to the midpoint. Give the direction. Give the height of 37. Enter. Enter. Then take the circle. Come on. Give the center point. Give the radius of 25. Enter. Then create tangent lines. Give the line command. Take the first point. Shift right click. Select tangent. Click on the circle. Enter. Again enter. Give the first point. Shift right click tangent. Click on the circle, enter. Then erase this vertical line, E, enter. Select this line, enter. Then create this internal circle of 25 diameter. Click here and select center diameter. 
give the center point, give the diameter of 25. Enter. Then this portion needs to be press full by 9 distance and this internal portion needs to be press full by 12 distance. Give the press full, select this internal portion, give the direction, give the distance of 9, enter. Again select this portion, give the direction, give the distance of 12, enter. Press escape. Now these two objects are separate. Connect them using union. Click on union. Select both the object and press enter. Then move this object and place at this position. We can match the midpoint of this line with the midpoint of this line here. Click on move, select the object, enter, take your cursor to the midpoint of this line and click on midpoint of this line. Erase this object, E, enter, select the object, enter. Now same portion is required on the opposite side. We can create it using 3D mirror, click on mirror, 3D mirror, select the object, enter, then click on 3 point. Now define the 3 points of the mirror plane. Now mirror plane will pass through the center of this object. Give this midpoint as a first point, this midpoint as a second point and this midpoint as a third point. Then delete source object, no. Here the opposite side is also ready. Then connect this object with this main object so that we can apply this fillet of radius 9. If we apply the fillet without joining these two object, the result will be different. Therefore remember to union this object before applying fillets. Click on union, select all the object, enter. Then click on fillet. Then select this line, give the radius of 9, enter. And select all the lines, orbit it, then enter, then click on ACISMR. Here this object is ready. Then next will be to give the dimension. 